Hey folks, uh, whoever's watching this, this is uh, Shelby from Village Earth Right. I've uh, been meaning to maybe do a little bit more video of the tinkering that I'm doing just because I, I always enjoy watching what other people are up to and learning a lot from it. And uh, I just figure, you know, why not contribute? So I'm going to do a little, little bit of my own. This is a little project, just a... Uh, I'm working on, <clears throat> I've got the uh, the Encon tilt rotator, and one of the things about the, the, the tilt rotator is the fact that it allows you to have these controllers, here, uh, <laughs> the change in light here, um, that can do, you know, more different things. So, for example, we've got, you know, on this controller, you've got the wheel, which is your tilt and rotate, you know, depending on the controller. On the underside, we've got some more rollers. I've got my drive is down here. Uh, my auxiliary system is here. We've got some other, so these buttons are NCON, you know, they go into the computer. <clears throat> but on the top side here, you'll see these four buttons that wrap around the top. And those four buttons are just wires that are available. You'll see I'm starting to work already. We've got, you know, just these loose wires coming off of the controller. And those just go straight into the plug, which wires that I was showing you before, right there, come up into this joystick and they come out right there so if you're going to wire something in you just have to connect those wires into whatever you're trying to run and that button will just act as a momentary switch uh, they also do offer non-momentary buttons that you can get uh, for doing things that you know are sort of on and off uh, so one of the things i'd like to wire which i'm not going to get to today probably is wipers wipers are a non-momentary so if I wanted to turn them on or off, then I'll have to get a different button from NCON. In the meantime, I might actually wire them so that I have to hold down the button because as a, a momentary switch should work as a continuous, so long as you hold it continuous, which the reason I would want on a joystick is to do one, you know, one swipe, not continuous. Um, so that's, uh, this is what the project I'm working on and, uh, I'll try and sort of bring you along. Yeah, of course, one of the challenges with tinkering like this is got to have the right tools. Hence why I've got the messy service truck. And these, I saw this one point, I saw I was in, uh, Santa Fe. Was I in Santa Fe or? No, it was, in, it was in Idaho. I just walked by a service truck and the guy had it open and he had his tools up here and I was like, oh, that's brilliant. And so I did it on mine, but of course they always, uh, especially the little ones and stuff, the, you know, as you bang the door closed, they tend to spring out. And so it's possible I may have lost one or two, but uh, what I basically just learned is all the little ones that I might lose, I just keep loose in hopes that I won't lose them. Better video quality of that end. Um, as I was, uh, you'll notice that on that plug, there's only the white and black. Uh, this is the plug for that. I, I've traced it the other day. Uh, and it shouldn't be a problem if I just basically splice into the white and black. So that's what I'm gonna do. So my solution, we'll see if it works, is that I just cut back a little bit of the uh, heat shrink, which should give me some play on those wires. Well, of course, no job is really ever just one job. So in order to do this, I've decided that it'll be a lot easier 
if I remove the seat. So that is my current project right now because I looked it up on YouTube and I didn't find any thing about it. So here's a video of me attempting to figure out how to remove a seat on a Kubota excavator. All right, folks, uh, just getting back on the project here. <clears throat> it's been a few days, and uh, I did a little bit of messing around in the meantime on some nights and took some more things apart, changed out this switch. You'll see it's got four pins on the back. I thought I was going to need a MC or a normally closed switch. Turns out, after all my messing around, that I just put those T connectors in not well enough or something. Because now I've got them connected basically the same as I had before, where I've got the blue line just coming off basically T system using these. Uh, whatever they're called, Wagos. And I'll put down the arm. This button works. And this button works. So just utilizing the uh, On these uh, auto plugs, these auto things, which is uh, what the Encon uses natively. Let me uh, get the bolts here. Bolts 20. If I go and I Well, there it is, wired in, and um, relatively neat and orderly. The next step is that I want to have this switch here, which is currently a, it's a three position switch. It's got a toggle, a, uh, you know, a snap, on off, and a momentary in it for the uh, spray. I just want from that to have one of these buttons momentary the wiper. 